Okay, friends, we're going to see if we can do 15 candidates in two minutes or less. Uh, we're going to start off with Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan is a member of the House of Representatives. He is from Wisconsin, and he is a Republican. You may remember Paul Ryan because he was Mitt Romney's vice presidential running mate in 2012, and he is currently a presidential hopeful for the Republican Party uh, for 2016. Okay, next up, uh, this man is Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio, uh, he is currently a senator from Florida. Uh, Marco Rubio is also a Republican. And uh, the interesting thing about Marco Rubio, you may remember, you see this photo here. This is the infamous water sip that he took in the middle of the Republican response to the State of the Union address last year. This was in 2013. And uh, Marco Rubio's other claim to fame is that he is Cuban-American. His parents are, uh, are Cuban. And uh, so he is, uh, he would be, uh, if he were the nominee, he would be not only the first Republican, but the first uh, major party candidate to be of Latino heritage. So that's Marco Rubio, senator from Florida, a Republican. All right, this next guy, he's the big guy. He is Chris Christie. Chris Christie is uh, currently the governor of New Jersey. Uh, Chris Christie was involved in that scandal recently involving uh, the, uh, the George Washington Bridge and how much did he know about the closure of the George Washington Bridge. Uh, some people allege that he was trying to get political retaliation against the mayor of Fort Lee, New Jersey, um, uh, and it turned out that, it, well, he claimed that it was his staff. So far, there hasn't, there hasn't been any evidence to indicate that Chris Christie was directly involved, uh, but it was still uh, a negative for him. But anyway. This is Chris Christie, uh, governor of New Jersey. Why is Snooky there? Uh, because, hey, they're both from New Jersey. So this is Chris Christie, Republican governor from New Jersey. All right, next up we have Rand Paul. Uh, Rand Paul, he is a Republican senator. Rand Paul is from Kentucky. Uh, the thing that is his claim to fame, number one, he has a famous dad, Ron Paul, who was a member of Congress, uh, Republican uh, representative from Texas. Rand Paul. Um, a Republican, uh, but we could also say that he's even a libertarian, just like his dad. Uh, very, very anti-big government, uh, very much an advocate of limit, limited government. Uh, so that is Rand Paul, Republican senator from Kentucky. Next up, uh, he is Rick Perry. This is uh, Rick. Let me spell that correctly. That is supposed to be R-I-C-K Perry. Rick Perry is currently the governor of Texas. He is a Republican governor from Texas. Rick Perry, um, also famous uh, because he did make a run for president back in 2012. So he's uh, considered a possible nominee for 2016. Uh, Rick Perry has tried a different political strategy lately. Rick Perry, you'll notice here, let's go to the next slide. Start to wear glasses, look at that. He's looking sharp, he's looking intelligent. Uh, so that's the new look that Rick Perry is going for. Anyway, that's Rick Perry, uh, Republican governor from Texas. We have John Thune. Uh, John Thune is also a Republican. He is a senator from South Dakota. Uh, John Thune was elected to the Senate the same year Barack Obama was back in 2004 initially. Um, John Thune hasn't really been in the national media lately, um, but he's been considered as a possible uh, presidential nominee, uh, mainly, I don't know, maybe because he's just a good-looking guy. So that's John Thune, Republican senator from South Dakota. All right, next up we have Bobby Jindal. Uh, Bobby Jindal is also a Republican, and Bobby Jindal is currently the governor of uh, Louisiana. Bobby Jindal, uh, claim to fame is that he is the first major national political figure to be Indian-American. Uh, so if, of course, if Bobby Jindal were elected president, he would be the first Indian-American president. Uh, so anyway, that's Bobby Jindal, uh, Republican governor of the state of Louisiana. All right, speaking of governors, here's another Republican governor. This governor is Scott Walker. Scott Walker is the Republican governor of Wisconsin. Uh, Scott Walker was in the news a couple years ago as a union buster. Uh, he went up against the teachers' unions and other public employee unions. Uh, he believes that labor unions are too powerful uh, and they should kind of be busted down uh, to size uh, so that, that we can limit, uh, we can not spend so much public money. He says that uh, public employee, employee pensions are killing state governments and state budgets, and, uh, and so that's kind of been his crusade. So anyway, that is Scott Walker, Republican governor from Wisconsin. All right, next up here we have Jeb Bush. Speaking of another Republican governor, Jeb Bush, 
Uh, he is a former, not the current, but the former governor of the state of Florida, uh, Jeb Bush. His claim to fame, of course, is that he has a famous father and a famous brother. His father was George Herbert Walker Bush, uh, the 41st president of the United States. His brother, George W. Bush, George Walker Bush, the 43rd president of the United States. Um, some people say that uh, you know they won't vote for him because he will be a third Bush president. Uh, is that fair to, to judge him based on what his other brothers have, you know, his brother and his father have done? Uh, uh, but right now, as of April 2014, April May 2014, he actually in the polls is the front runner for the Republican nomination. Uh, he is the most likely to get the Republican nomination at this point in time. So anyway, that's Jeb Bush, former Republican governor uh, from the state of Florida. All right, next up we have Rob Portman. Rob Portman is uh, currently ah. serving in the United States Senate, and he is a senator from the state of Ohio. Uh, Rob Portman's claim to fame, you know, most Republicans would be against same-sex marriage. However, Rob Portman recently, within the past year, um, came on national television, on national news, and uh, said that he was in favor of same-sex marriage, uh, which is, again, unusual for a Republican. His reason, because he recently discovered that his son was gay. Uh, and so he wanted to support his son and do what he thought was best for his son. And so he is one of the very few prominent national Republicans who is actually in favor of same-sex marriage rights. So that's Rob Portman, uh, Republican senator from Ohio. All right, next, next up, uh, probably the best smile in... Uh, in politics right now, this is Joe Biden. Joe Biden is currently the Vice President of the United States because he is President Obama's Vice President. Of course, that makes him a Democrat. Uh, he is formerly from Delaware, former Senator from Delaware, uh, also uh, originally from Scranton, Pennsylvania. That's where he came from and where he grew up, uh, but represented Delaware in the Senate and, of course, is currently serving as the Vice President of the United States, a Democrat, Joe Biden. Senator Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is a uh, senator, Republican senator from Texas. Ted Cruz's claim to fame is that he was one of the contributors of the government shutdown uh, late last year in October of 2013. Uh, Ted Cruz, part of the reason why he contributed to that shutdown, he thought it was a very legitimate reason. He wanted to uh, repeal or dismantle Obamacare, and he thought the only way to draw attention to that was by uh, basically stalling the business of the Senate uh, so that uh, it could contribute to a government shutdown. It's a longer story. Anyway, he's very outspoken against Obamacare uh, and, uh, and also is a favorite of the Tea Party, so the more conservative part of the Republican Party. Anyway, this is Ted Cruz, Republican Senator from the state of Texas. All right next up, we have Martin O'Malley. Martin O'Malley is currently serving as the Governor, the Democratic governor, this is one of our few Democrats on here, Democratic governor from the state of Maryland. Uh, Martin O'Malley, probably, I would say, if Hillary Clinton wasn't in the picture, Martin O'Malley would probably be the front runner for the Democratic Party right now. Uh, he's young, he's energetic, he is considered an up and coming uh, star of the Democratic Party. So uh, we're going to look for him maybe to uh, be one of the leaders of the Democratic Party maybe after Hillary has had her time. Uh, so anyway, this is Martin O'Malley, Democratic governor from Maryland. And Hillary, here she is, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Uh, Hillary's claim to fame, of course, she uh, rose to prominence first as the first lady of the state of Arkansas, wife of then governor of Arkansas, Bill Clinton. Uh, Bill Clinton, of course, went on to become president of the United States. Uh, and so she became the first lady of the United States. She would later go on to be a senator from New York, and her current most recent position is uh, Secretary of State during President Obama's first term. So she served, served from 2009 to 2013. Uh, she is currently a private citizen, working with the Clinton Global Initiative, uh, which is an organization that her husband began. And she is certainly uh, the front runner right now for the Democratic nomination for president. So this is Hillary Clinton, uh, a Democrat, and uh, her most recent position held is Secretary of State. And finally, our last candidate here is Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo is currently serving as the governor of New York. He is another Democrat. Uh, Andrew Cuomo, uh, his claim, the biggest claim to fame was a famous father, uh, Mario Cuomo, who's also a politician from New York. Uh, so anyway, this is Andrew Cuomo, current governor of the state of New York, and he is a Democrat. And 
and that is our final uh, presidential, potential presidential candidate for the 2016.